kids, this is Heidi with Kiddos Corral, and if you hear a roaring, it's because I have my dryer on and my dishwasher on. I have company coming today, and I decided to go ahead and shoot this video since I was making this today, because I really think this is a recipe worth sharing. So in my uh, pot, I have, I'm, first of all, I'm doubling this recipe. We're going to be making homemade hot dog chili. Now you can use ground beef, but I am using ground turkey. And I've got that all in the pot. And you want to, you know, kind of squish it down because you want it to remain broken up and not, you know, all clump together while it's cooking. While that is cooking, you want to add one large onion. If you're not uh, doubling the recipe, it would be just one small onion, but I've already got my onion all diced. And I just want to get that in there. There we go. And I'm going to set this aside. And all you want to do at this point is you want to brown your meat and your onion together. And when that gets done, I'll be back to show you what else you need to add to this. Okay, so my meat is all done and it's browned with my um, onion. So that don't take long at all. So now you wanna add one cup of ketchup. If you're only halving this, it's a half a cup of ketchup. Okay. Uh, let me get my recipe. So make sure I tell you guys right. So it's a half a cup of ketchup, but I'm using one whole cup of ketchup. I'm using six tablespoons of regular yellow mustard. tablespoons of regular vinegar and I'll put the regular recipe down below. So I'm using two tablespoons of vinegar. I am using four tablespoons of brown sugar. And lastly I am uh, using four tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, or Worcestershire sauce, depending on where you live. Now you would just want to mix this together. And you want to let this simmer for a good 20 minutes. And that will get this good and combined. But what I'm going to do, instead of letting this simmer for 20 minutes, since I've got a couple hours before my party starts, I'm just going to get my handy dandy crock pot out. And I am going to pour all of my contents into my crock pot and try not to burn myself. This is heavy. <laughs> All right. You want to get all that sauce out of there and all of the onion. And then I'm just going to put the lid on this and I'm going to let this simmer until... 